Hey guys, hello America. My name is Will Moore and I'm a photographer. And I get in my car and travel throughout the country looking for that next great shot. So come on. Hey guys, this is Will with Somewhere in America, and I'm telling you guys, I found a great shot today. I went looking, I mean, I searched for like hours this morning, just riding around, just trying to find a pretty, pretty good shot. And so I found this dam right here, and I'm going to go ahead and take a shot of it. I got my setting at F22 because I want to kind of slow it up, slow up that water. I'm going to bracket my shots, and I'm going to see, well, what you know, what, it, what it'll look like in... Um, and um, I'm going to play around with it. So we'll see what's going on, guys. And um, I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and talk with you in a minute. All right? Bye. Hey, guys. Okay, I got my shots, guys. And um, I like what I saw. I mean, it's a beautiful dam. I mean, that water is just gorgeous. I mean, this lake is just magnificent right here. I mean, even though part of it's probably, is, you know, it's frozen. Where I am, it's, it's wintertime. It's cold. <laughs> I'm telling you, I am freezing out here. So, guys, hey. <laughs> I'm going to meet you guys back in the studio. We're going to process this and see what it looks like. Okay? God bless. Talk with you later. Well, hello again, America. And this is Will Moore with Somewhere in America once again. And guys, you saw that I was on location and that I was just freezing my behind off. As the old folks used to say, it was colder than a well digger's behind out there. And I'm telling you, it was cold, guys. <laughs> One day I was in somewhere where it was warm and another day it was warm and sunny. And another day here today I was where it was cold. It was sunny, but it was cold and it was like 19, 20 degrees, whatever. You heard in the video. You heard it in my own location video. But anyway, guys. This, this dam, I saw this dam, I thought it was really, really cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and just, just dive, delve right into it and dive into it and just jump in, not in this cold water, but let's just jump in this. Kind of imagine the waters of the Bahamas, guys, that is nice and warm or the more. Uh, anyway, I'll, I'll be there in a couple of months anyway, so it's I cannot wait. Oh, God, guys, I'll be going on vacation and I will be on location. Yes. I will be on location, not in America, but in the Americas or the Caribbean or where uh, all of the, the, the Southern American area, uh, it's like South America or Mexico. But I'll be I'll be on location and I'll be coming to you guys and and sharing with you tutorials from um, some of the islands and some of the places that you definitely want to visit. So anyway, guys, here we go. Um. I saw this dam and um, I thought we'd go ahead and let's process it. So I got like five images here and uh, I'm going to make this one a little bit darker. And this is my overexposed, but I'll make it a little bit darker. Just, just a tad bit more darker. And uh, make this one just a little bit as you can see I'm playing with images here and make this one just a little bit darker too and we'll keep that that's our overexposed so we'll keep that like that alrighty okay alright so let's go ahead and let's, you know, let's make this one darker that's our underexposed I'll make sure it's darker let's even add some contrast to it okay alright <clears throat> there we go alright now let's go ahead and mess with the we're going to put this thing on no, no, not tungsten, this blue, we're not going for blue. There is, a, there is one where I'll show you where, where that'll look good on, but not, to, not today. All right, it's a little uh, warm. We don't want it that. It was warm, but we'll go ahead and add a, take tone, down, tone it down a little bit, the temperature. Um, go ahead and just raise up that exposure a little bit. All right, let's jump down to camera uh, lens correction. And we'll enable, remove profile correction. I'm not going to hit anything with auto because um, it's not going to do too much. But I'm going to go to manual. I'm going to go to manual because I want to do something. I'm going to show you something. I, I want to get this. I'm going to ro rotate this just like that. So I still got my bridge and I still got my nice line here. And I'm going to constrain that. And that is cool. Alrighty. Now let's go down to camera calibration. 
and I'm gonna go on landscape look at that voila beautiful brought all of my nice colors back alrighty and uh, let's add a little magenta okay now let's go ahead and bring down the highlights bring up the shadows I'm gonna hold down the alt key until I get some pixels I do let me step back I'm gonna get some blacks and I do get a few more blacks I like the oh, let's step back let's step back all right there we go okay and I'm not gonna do any clarity um, a little vibrance yes and um, no saturation I'm not gonna worry about that right now alrighty okay guys I'm gonna go ahead and hit control a while I'm on this sync everything make sure everything is checked check all synchronize and all of my images are gonna sync one two three four five and they are all synced here I'm gonna go with this one and make sure that I got a little bit more a little bit more darkness and a little bit more contrast and this one I'm gonna do the same thing and that one and this one this one I'm not gonna do so much go bright okay now I'm gonna go back to the one I was dealing with here and I'm gonna check for sharpness okay because we got a pretty sharp image and why why do we have a sharp image will the reason why we have a sharp image is because guess what guys I was on my tripod today I didn't I didn't I wasn't handheld I was on my tripod today I was at ISO 100 and all of you guys out there would have been proud of me and I took my time it was great I even I even had my wireless trigger so it was really cool so I didn't have to touch the camera at all and I really wanted to get this shot I froze my butt off just to make sure that everything was set up and that tripod was cold okay so let's go ahead but let's go ahead and give a little bit more sharpening let's take it up to 50 I'm gonna hold down the alt key do some little masking here and remember everything that's black will not be sharp and everything that's silhouette will be okay and I'm gonna go ahead and sync that again check all so it all get the same sharpening and we are good to go okay all right look like something jumped back up there with some color again with, with a little let me bring that let me tone that down just a little bit all righty that's looking good okay now let me right click I'm gonna go to edit and we'll merge to because we are doing an HDR today so I'm gonna merge to HDR okay guys and while we're doing that I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pause okay guys we are now merged to HDR Pro and we have all our images here minus three minus one Ooh, we did a big jump okay it was it should have been like a minus two but anyway we're good to go all right and we have like two all right okay no problem we, 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 we are good to go okay and um, okay let's go ahead and start our process y'all know my what I want to do I want to go to photorealistic I'm gonna remove ghosting my radius I'm gonna take it up to like 91 I'm gonna bring down uh, my strength I'm gonna bring down my I'm not worried about halos in this too much so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna leave the strength there I'm gonna do edge smoothness the gamma I'm gonna go up a little bit just a little bit on gamma my exposure I'm gonna keep that right at where it is my detail I'm gonna go all the way up to like a hundred and fifty oh wow look at that let's take it back down don't want it too jacked up alrighty about a 120 okay cuz I want all those bricks and all that to show up okay uh, shadows bring the shadows down a little bit and highlights up vibrant some saturation can be with there go I'm gonna go to curves adjustment in my light area I'm gonna go up just a little bit even in my mid section I'm going to bring it down and in my blacks I'm gonna bring that down even further alrighty it's looking good I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK and I'm gonna let that process and I'm gonna pause until then okay guys we are now in Photoshop and now we are getting ready to boogie with this whole piece right here all right now we have a nice little good nice little HDR uh, image here all is very very detailed I'm going to duplicate that layer I'm gonna turn this one into I'm gonna convert it into a smart object okay 
I'm just fascinated with smart objects <laughs> because smart objects just make you smart okay and they're smart to use and and there's a whole tutorial that uh, Aaron Nace does um, with Flurn on YouTube that you guys can go and look at please look at it it's a great he does a great tutorial on why should you use smart objects and ever since then I've just used them because they're so it just you so much you can do with them and I just really really just dig them just dig doing smart objects I mean you can enlarge an image you can take it down you know, as a JPEG it always uh, digress as you open it up more and more but I just love smart objects okay now something that has not been working on my Photoshop 2014 I don't know why I just can't get it to work I don't know what's going on with my mean and my other in my media however what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go to filter and I'm going to go to the blur gallery now Photoshop 2014 has added this blur gallery which is fantastic it has field blur iris blur tilt shift path blur and spin blur now I'm gonna sh I'm gonna play around for just a couple of seconds here with tilt blur this is an this is something that if you have a tilt lens Ansel Adams um, before there was actually tilt lenses he would tilt his lens whenever he was doing landscapes his landscapes which would give him a greater depth of feel with his images which was really really nice and I, I really I really did I really was you know really dug how he did that and uh, look at y'all get that Doug how he did that that's kind of cool and Doug how he did that but with this with this you can move it around in different places and depth of feel the, the, the more you have if you have a more blurred in this area right here then this would give you more depth of feel or let me see bring it down this would give you more depth of feel right here by messing with the dotted line so now it makes it it gives you more bouquetting back here it makes it like it's really further away and it brings all the attention right here where the waterfall is so I would bring this down like here and this would give me more attention there where the waterfall is or where the ice is I can bring it up here and now I got a little bit more attention here or I can bring it up here and look at that now that's kind of blurred right there and it's kind of and then I can determine how much blur I want or how much depth of feel I really want and that is pretty cool right there so I'm gonna I'm gonna go with this tilt I'm gonna bring it back just a little bit because I want this little smoky area right here I'm gonna bring this down just a little bit here right there I'm gonna bring that up right there and I'm gonna give just a little bit more depth right there there and bring this up and right there and okay that I like that right there I, I like that because I'm kind of it's all the concentration is right here and I like that idea so I'm gonna hit okay and it's gonna take us back out into our Photoshop It's gonna apply this filter to our smart object and I'm gonna show you why it's great to be able to have a smart object and what you can do now look at this I have my smart filters and I have my blur what if I didn't want this blur watch this when I close the eye I toggle off it's gone I could actually even go ahead and drag this to the trash and be done with it but I don't want to be done with it so I'm rendering back my smart filter again and my blur and I'm putting it back on again so get back on there smart filter I like that isn't it great to just have the total control the total artistic control I love it I love it I love it now this is kind of slanted a little bit so let's go ahead and grab my uh, crop tool and I'm gonna straighten that out just a little bit just a little bit there we go okay and let's go ahead and hit enter now I could have actually went to up to um, filter I'm still thinking boy I tell you my computer is still thinking a lot of thinking going on a lot of thinking going on okay it's rendering okay I could have went up here and I could have went to adaptive wide angle 
and then I could have straightened that out. But uh, yes, why waste time? Why waste time? Okay, so now let's go ahead and um, I'm going to flatten that. And now we got a nice blur here, a nice blur there. Gave us a nice depth of field, which is really, really cool. Let's go ahead and duplicate that again. I'm going to right click, convert as a smart object again. And it is converting. Then I'm going to go down here to my curves adjustment. And I'm going to go to black and white. Now you'll say, why am I turning it to black and white? Because I'm going to go up here to my, my uh, blending modes, and I'm going to go to luminosity. And you guys know I love to play with luminosities. All right, so I'm going to make this give me a little bit more red, a little warm it up a little bit with the yellows. Uh, there's really no greens at all. Um, a little cyan and the blues. And there is some blue in the background over there with the in our bouquet. Okay, got that just the way I want it. And uh, let's go ahead and flatten that. Now, one of the things I want to do to this because I really, really like this image, and I really want to bring it out and just really, make, really make it look special. I'm gonna go down and I'm going to grab. Um, uh, let me see. I'm gonna grab. I'm going to go out of this folder here for a second, and I'm going to grab some textures. And you guys know that I am known for the texture. Got to have texture. You got to have texture and everything. And for the textures, I'm going to grab the first one is I'm going to grab the PDA, PA, the PADPA, PADPA, PADPA. I missed it. There we go. Let's bring that over. And I and on this te and I'm going to do textures, but I'm not going to get carried away. I want these I want these to be very very subtle because I want this to look like a painting. I'm going to go to overlay, and I've already added. Look at that! It's already added. It's looking really really nice. Let's bring down the fill just a little bit, and let's bring down the opacity just a little bit. Uh, both, both 81, and that's looking really nice. I'm going to grab another filter, and on this filter right here, I'm going to grab the old ornate linen texture and let's hit enter and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab another overlay look at that look at that I like the way look at how that's coming in there that looks really 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 nice guys on this one though on the uh, the patpa the artist easel texture I'm gonna add a add a mask and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lock that one and I'm going to come back down here and I'm going to hit B for brush. I'm going to widen that brush. How you widen that brush is you go to your brackets where your, where your brackets is and your brackets can do that for you. And I'm going to pick up some of that in this area right here. I don't want a whole lot of it. I don't want it all, all over everywhere. Okay, there we go. And where the lights are striking, just a little bit. There we go. Look at that shimmer on there. That is so gorgeous. Wow, I love it. Okay, let's go and unlock this one. I'm gonna add a mask to this one too, but I'm gonna lock this one. And I'm gonna go here, and I'm gonna go up, and just take up some of that up there. Keep it looking nice and rustic and old up there. Ha! Ah, that just gave me another idea. I might try something. Let's try. Let's try another filter. Let's, let's unlock that one. Let's go here. Let's try another filter. The filter that I want to try, that I have been dying to try, is actually a filter that is exactly what it is. Rust. And let's bring that over. Oh, look, it fit. It it placed very, very well. I don't even need to, I don't even go up here and check it and to lock it in. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. Locked it in. Let's see what it does. Let's go to overlay. Whoa. Whoa. No. Overlay. Overlay. And let's take that filter all the way down. Let's take it all the way down to about, about 20 something. Let's take the opacity down as well. Guys, this is guys, this is looking hot. I'm sorry. This is just looking like just too nice. Alright? I like what I'm seeing. I like what I'm seeing. 
so let's go ahead and let's flatten all of that and then I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate that one more time as you can see we're doing the majority of our work or we're doing the majority of our work right here in um, in Photoshop I'm gonna go up to the elliptical tool and I'm gonna to grab the elliptical tool and I'm gonna concentrate right here I'm gonna go up to select and I'm going to inverse and I'll make sure my feathering is like jacked all the way up I mean like just really like maybe 1000 that will work maybe <laughs> I'm at a mask and then I'm gonna go and get a curves adjustment I'm gonna go to levels and this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna give myself a nice vignetting nice vignetting effect nice vignetting effect my vignetting effect is not working uh, let's, let's trash that that ain't I don't want to if it ain't working I don't want to I don't want to work with it oh I know I'm sorry I know what's wrong I gotta make sure that it's on just this okay so now let's try it again there we go there we go my edges are working that is working really really nice working really really nice there we go okay now I'm gonna try something guys I'm gonna go down to blur, just regular blur. I'm gonna go to radio blur, and I'm open up the radio blur, and I'm gonna put zoom, and I'm gonna go to the to this direction here. All right, and I'm gonna take it down to like maybe five, well seven or five, five or seven, and I'm gonna hit OK. And if I don't like it, I'm not gonna stick with it. That's the beautiful thing about it, guys. We got the creative license. If you don't like it, we ain't got to stick with it. Just get rid of it and move on. But you know what? I like it. <laughs> okay? I really, really like it. So I'm going to grab a brush. <laughs> I'm going to grab. Oh, isn't it great? I'm going to grab a brush. I'm going to make sure my flow is like really, really down to like 11, 10, maybe 9. I'm going I'm to I'm take up some of this. All right. And I don't want a whole lot. And, uh, oh. I'm wrong. I'm sorry, guys. Whoa. Let's go step back. Let's step back. I'm on the wrong thing. I need to be on my mask. All right. There we go. There we go. And look at that. Nice little dream effect. Nice little dream effect. Alrighty, and let's go up here to levels again. Okay, okay, guys, that looks good, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm really, really digging that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this back to Lightroom and I'm going to finish it out. And then, um, hey, we'll be done for the day, guys. I'm telling you, I'm out of the cold at least. And I'm in the warmth in my studio. <laughs> so it's really a blessing today. Okay, guys, I'm going to go up to File. And I'm going to close this. And I'm going to hit Yes. And while that's doing that, I'm going to pause. Okay, guys, we are back in Lightroom, and our image is here. Everything looks really, really nice. I'm not going to do too much to it. I'm going to just maybe take it down, the highlights down a little bit. And I'm going to open up the shadows just a little bit. More highlights down. On the whites, I'm going to hold down the Alt key until I see some pixels. And I'm not going to do too much. On the blacks, I'm going to go just a little bit. Not too much. Just enough to make it kind of give that nice little rustic look okay um, on our temperature let's bring our temperature back just a little bit there we go that's right that's right that's right and um, I'm gonna do some special with clarity I might do some selective clarity but I'm gonna add a little vibrance and uh, not too much saturation now uh, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna grab a radio filter and exactly where we had the concentration of our fall. Hold on that and bring it over some more. Hold on the alt and bring it over. 
I'm gonna I'll make sure that's inverted. I'm gonna take the clarity to the left this time. Okay, and you see what it did? It affected the outside, but it didn't affect the inside here. Now I'm gonna hold down the Alt key and we'll bring that down a little bit more. Bring that down, bring that over a little bit more. Okay. Now I'm gonna grab and do some contrast. And I'm gonna do some exposure. Alrighty. Not too much. Right there. That's exactly what I want right there. Let's hit done on that. And um let's brighten it up just a little bit. Just a little bit. And I'm gonna take a brush. I'm gonna go to clarity. Clears at twenty two. I'm gonna come where the bricks are. Just a little bit of clarity and um, some selective clarity, actually. And then I'm going to grab another brush. I'm going to go to exposure. Exposure is up to 32. I'm going to come right here and I'm going to go ahead and bring that in. Then I'm going to go new and I'm going to take a gradient filter. And on the gradient filter, I'm going to go right here. And I'm going to go just a little bit dark. Not too much. A little bit more contrast. Okay. And guys, I'm going to grab another brush and make sure I'm off exposure. A little lighter. I'm going to come right here, even though it's in the. And I'm going to grab a filter. Better yet, let's do it that way. And let's bring a little bit of that in. So we can concentrate just on that waterfall. All right, guys. Uh, that looks good. And uh, let's do some, even though we did a little vignetting in the um, in Photoshop, I'm going to do a little bit more here, a little last bit. And make a more post crop vignetting. I'm gonna do a little bit more. I'm gonna exaggerate. I'm gonna really exaggerate. Alrighty. And let's bring this up just a little bit. And bring that down just a little bit. More panoramic. And guys, hey, that looks great. Guys, I love it. I think we did a really good job on it. And so I am done for the day. Hey guys, as I said before, get out get your cameras out there shoot smartly um remember guys you know there's a world out there to see america is a great place you have so much to shoot you don't always have to go to a foreign country you don't have to go a whole lot of places but i mean there's just a lot of great i mean there's just so much to see out there i'm gonna mess with the saturation here a little bit while i'm talking to you guys i'm gonna bring that red those reds up i like those reds and i'm gonna bring the oranges up that's pretty cool and i'm gonna bring the yellows up too and uh, as I'm talking to you guys <laughs> and the magenta all right and I like it looks good but guys get out there shoot smartly hey remember this as I always say before at the end of every one of my podcasts guys and also too, guys I want you to uh, listen I want you to stay tuned to the end of the podcast because I'm going to show you I went some other places as well and I shot a whole lot of things and I want you to see the other stuff that I shot which might give you some ideas and things that you might want to do okay I've already been processed and everything but Guys, get out there, shoot, shoot as much as you can, um, learn a lot, always be open to new and brand new things and to be able to experiment. That's what we do on this show in Somewhere America. We don't just go to different places, but even when we come in the studio, we like to just experiment and see how we can do different things and how things can work out well for us. You guys, you know me, I'm always playing around even while I'm talking. So, um... And let me bring up the flow a little bit. All right. And, and 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 get out there. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. Just bring out that right there just a little bit. Even here. Oh, wow. Look, even while I'm talking, I'm just finding little things. See, this is experimentation. Experimentation. That looks great. Let me bring that. Just bring that back just a tad. There we go. So, guys, get out there. Shoot, like I said, shoot smartly. Remember the last thing. If you can't say anything nice, put a shoe in your mouth and keep it moving. God bless, guys. Talk with you later. Bye-bye.